Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on some deleted scenes for The Flash, also the Elseworlds crossover, and also we're going to talk about some other things, including the massive breaking news from Legends of Tomorrow, and some behind the scenes stuff from Supergirl, so it's a bit of a mix, but mainly to do with The Flash this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, so in the first clip, and this is a clip with Sherlock and Nora, Sherlock is trying to find out a formula for love, and so he's trying to find out what he should do to sort of propose and be like, I like you, to Renee, his future girlfriend, obviously, by the end of the season, and so this was in the episode Gold Faced. It doesn't serve a great purpose to the episode, I can see why it was a deleted scene, and it is actually a nice scene, but there's no real reason for it to actually be in the episode because it's just like a little funny scene. And it's nice to see Nora because, you know, Nora's not going to be in next season. So that was a nice thing. And so essentially what is going on, he's trying to find out a formula for love. And you get to see on the wall, there's all this mention of chocolate and then, you know, walking in the moonlight. Or, you know, what is the best way to profess love in some sort of way? And so Sherlock believes it's some sort of calculation that you can do. And so that's what he does. He finds out a way and he says, I have not always been successful in romance. And he succeeds by saying, but one thing you get from heartbreak opportunity, the opportunity to study your mistakes and learn from them. And so this is when he sort of happily goes along and Nora's just very excited to hear that he is sort of moving on and he is very confident. So it's a nice little clip, but nothing too important there. Okay, so let's move on to the next clip and this is Iris and Mrs. Merkel, the mother of Ragdoll. And so Ragdoll was introduced in an early episode and he obviously returned later in the season and so this clip adds a bit of backstory and we sort of know a bit about this already we sort of presumed a lot of what his history was and we got a glimpse of his mother and their relationship and how it was broken throughout that episode and so this just sort of is a small little scene that will be included on the dvd and blu-ray same with the sherlock and nora scene just prior and so that's all going to be in the Blu-ray and DVD, so please be sure to get it. It's out in a few days in America, but not out until September 23rd in the UK, and I'm presuming in Europe as well. And so Ragdoll burnt all 52 letters her mother sent her, so Ragdoll's mum, so her grandmother. And so that was her most cherished possession, and so this just adds some of the sort of darkened backstory to Ragdoll and, you know, the motivation to stop him, essentially, and, you know, how crazy he's gone in the past. And so, now moving on to a deleted scene that will be, obviously, included in the Flash Blu-ray. I'm not sure about the DVD, but presumably it's going to be on the DVD as well. It has a deleted scene of Oliver doing the My Name is Barry Allen monologue that he does at the start of every episode. And so on the screen right now, you can see a screenshot of it. We haven't had the official clip being posted online, and you can check out the other clips. They'll be linked in the description below once this video goes up. But this is coming from Flash TV News. They actually got the screenshot, as they obviously got the DVD or Blu-ray very early. And so this is a really cool photo right here. You get to see Oliver. He's in the Flash costume. This is obviously, you know, one of the later episodes in the crossover. Once he's got his powers, he's got the Flash suit, they've sort of switched. And I think it's just a really nice moment that could have been in the episode. I think I would like this scene. I obviously haven't seen the video version, but this gets me very excited for what could have been. And looking forward to seeing the full scene when it actually comes out. But like I said, the Flash does this every episode. Barry does it. And so he's running through the streets, you can see it right here, he's running extremely fast and he's sort of centre in the middle and it's just a really nice shot. I really, really can't wait to see this bit. So let's move on to talk about the next thing. And so the next thing is not to do with The Flash, but it's to do with Legends of Tomorrow. Because just a few days ago, they made the official announcement that Brandon Ralph and Courtney Ford are going to be departing from Legends of Tomorrow as series regulars. So, it's actually a bit controversial right now because Brandon Ralph has said that he's been written out the show and it was some sort of creative difference, but 
Brandon doesn't want to go, and he's expressed that on Instagram and Twitter and everything like that, so it's a bit controversial right now, and I don't want to see him go. I'm not so bothered about Courtney actually going because I don't think Nora's that pivotal, but Ray is such a big thing since the start of Legends, like since way back in Season 1, and so they'll be saying goodbye to them as series regulars. That doesn't mean they can't come back and, you know, Brandon can't play Superman because he's playing Superman in the crossover. But for now, they will be departing the show as series regulars. That means they won't be there every episode, basically. And so I'm not sure the reason. I feel like they have just hit a block and they're like, we don't know what to do with Ray anymore. And obviously Nora, like, I think Nora you know, probably has met her end as of right now. I think that's not a bad decision. But I think Ray actually leaving is a bad decision. I think the show, you know, last season, it wasn't that good. I thought it was just all right. And I think if they're getting rid of one of their fan favorites, that's going to be not very good for the impact of the show. And obviously, like, the ratings aren't very good right now. And I don't think that's going to be very good for it, losing one of its main cast members. So hopefully they introduce someone really good. Last season, the introduction of some of the other series regulars wasn't such a big hit. Constantine was the big hit, which is very exciting, and it's, I'm glad to see he's staying on. But some of the other people who, you know, joined, like Mona and everything like that, people weren't a big fan of them. So losing someone like Brandon, who plays Ray, who is one of the biggest fan favorites, I think that's going to put a big impact on the show. And so in a statement they actually released, I think this is the CW, they said... Brandon and Courtney have been invaluable members of Legends is family and they have always brought a level of passion and collaboration to their characters and to the show both on and off the screen that we deeply admire and for which we are eternally grateful. So that was a statement they gave out to Deadline and I you know that is just sort of like praising them it's nothing to you know news like but as one of the founding members of Legends Brandon is extremely beloved by fans and everyone on the show, that's what the showrunner actually said, and their exit stems from a creative decision to wrap up the storyline, according to the article. And what Deadline goes on to say is, because of the nature of the time traveling show, Legends of Tomorrow, there has been a natural character turnover with the series regulars leaving as the stories come to an end, and new ones coming on board, and of the large regular ensemble cast that started in season 1, only a couple will still be on the show, by the end of the coming season and so this sort of enters my point the ratings are all right right but taking away your biggest people obviously you've got a new big hit you've got Constantine that's great you still got Sarah you still got a few of the other ones but you've lost you know over the years bit by bit all the different cast members who originally started you know like Rip and like Captain Cold and everything and slowly you know one by one we're getting new cast members who for the most part aren't always such a big hit apart from Constantine like I keep on repeating and then you're losing these big people so it's comes from a creative decision to end the storyline they've definitely hit a block that's you know no detriment to them but I think it's going to be you know not very well received by fans and also I think it may impact how people watch the show and, you know, how many people want to tune in if, you know, their favourite characters are leaving. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the final thing. We're going to talk about some Supergirl photos right here. This comes from TV Insider. And so it's just some behind-the-scenes photos I thought I would include in a video. I can't make a video, like a whole video on this because, you know, there's nothing, like, newsworthy. It's just very interesting and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's just some behind-the-scenes looks and it's very exciting. And so... This seems like it's from the finale, but you get this photo right here of Supergirl fighting Lex. They are obviously in a studio, they got the green screens up and everything like that. So I believe this was one of the last fight scenes. I think it might be in the warehouse. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below. But yeah, so you see Melissa fighting John as Lex. And so yeah, let's move on to the next photo. You see David Harewood, who is actually returning to direct an episode early on this season, and he is directing McCard in this scene. And I do believe this was the scene, or one of the scenes, where James was obviously being experimented on, and he sort of begins to freak out, and so David's giving him some instructions. We get this very nice, goofy, behind-the-scenes look at Brainiac. 
you see Jesse smiling, Melissa's smiling in the background, and it's just a very nice photo. I really like what's going on in this photo. And then moving on to the next one, we have Katie McGrath and Sam Witwer as Agent Liberty and Lena. And so this is one of the final episodes, but it's just, you know, them goofing around and yeah. So let's move on to the final photo. This is a behind the scenes look and it's of Nia, obviously played by Nicole Maines and it's just, you know, mid shoot, you know, doing the hair, the makeup and touching up and everything like that. So that is it for this video guys, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave some theories or some ideas for videos in the next few days because as you know, not too much news has been out there, but the Flash DVD comes out and I'm sure there'll be some more stuff, more deleted scenes, and maybe they release the gag reel for us to go over. So thank you guys so much for watching, I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see.